I landed my jump, expertly. A lesser PI would have risked breaking his legs, and probably his lots of other stuff, too. But I didn't break so much as Fernandez's pot. Oh, hey, McPherson. My name was McPherson, private investigator, not McPherson. Oh, oh, uh, that's cool. Can I call you McPherson PI? I find that acceptable, I said. Great, great. So, uh, why'd you hop out the window there? Door's right beside it. <sighs> I knew this rube. Logic, he called himself. I believed that was his real name like I believed plants ate donuts. I'd been tempted to investigate him a few times. Who knew what kind of sleazy stuff he was covering up? Straw man, appeals to authority, begging the question. I'd bet all that and more. And yet he thought he could question me, McPherson, private investigator. I have my reasons, I replied. Okay, that makes sense. So, you're still doing the whole detective thing, eh? You better believe it, dude! Fernandez snapped, leaping to defend his idol. And he's the coolest PI in the whole world, so lay off, man! Uh, have we met? No, my name's Fernandez, private investigator's partner. But if you're gonna disrespect McPherson PI, you can call me Fern. I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Please, sir, I beg your forgiveness, and McPherson PI is way cooler than me, and he should run my whole channel from now on. Andes, Fernandez said angrily, offended by the slight against his vastly more intelligent and suave best friend. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Fernandez had a point, but he needed to play it cool if we were going to get this guy. Calm down, Fernandez, I said. There's no need to get angry just because I don't get the respect I deserve. I'm a PI. I'm used to dealing with scumbags like this. We have a case to work. Cool, what are you guys investigating? I debated whether I should tell him. PIs had a strict code of client-PI confidentiality. Do you actually have a client? I never see anybody going in or out of your office. He had a point. No client, no confidentiality. I spilled the beans. Once I was done picking them up, I told him about the case. Were you gonna tell me about the case? I already had. Hadn't he heard my narration? Quote, I told him about the case. Yeah, I know you said that, but you didn't actually, like, um, you know, tell me. There was no difference and he knew it. Actually, yeah. B big difference, trust me. The man was an idiot, but I decided to tell him a second time to shut him up. We're investigating some joker named Heart of Truth, I explained. He's running some big sloppy metaphor racket out of the big city. I think we're getting close to nailing his ass. Did you ever investigate someone for sloppy noir slang? I wasn't sure what this wise guy meant by noir. Of course, I said. Oh, and how'd that go? It was a compelling and atmospheric tale, and it did amazing as usual, I said. I wondered why he was asking stupid questions. No reason, man, don't worry about it. So sloppy metaphors, eh? I'm great at those. At investigating them, I mean. So can I help? I already had an assistant, Fernandez. We didn't need some sap tagging along, playing detective. We had real work to do. I'm 100% sure that's true, McPherson PI, but it's also been 500 words and you haven't even got into the video yet. And if I keep talking to you, that's just gonna get worse. He had a point. He was wasting my time, and I knew his M.O. If I didn't let him tag along, he'd just follow me around town, talking, and talking, and talking. <sighs> All right, I said. You can come along and see how a real detective works, but keep your trap shut. Oh, I'm great at keeping my trap shut. That's like my number one skill. In fact, you know, back in high school, my teachers used to always tell me like, hey, Logic, you are the best at keeping your trap shut. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, they actually gave me a medal because of that. They also gave me a medal for saving a squirrel. Yeah, the principal himself put it on me. Uh, unfortunately, then the squirrel bit the principal and he got rabies and died. And they didn't invite me to the funeral and I was really sad because I was like, I, I mean, I knew this guy really well. He, he personally gave me a medal, but they said I was a menace to society. And I was like, but I saved the squirrel. World. And they were like, yeah, but you shoved the squirrel up the principal's pant leg. And I was like, yeah, but it's Canada and it's cold outside and the squirrel's going to get cold and he's wearing wool pants. I mean, where else am I going to put the squirrel? And they were like, well, you could have put it in your pocket. And I was like, well, I don't have pockets. I don't wear pants. And they, then they were like, well, why don't you wear pants? And I was like, because in my mask, it gets really hot and I really want to cool down. And they were like, yeah, but the mask is on your head and the pants are on your legs. And I was like, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's one body. Like, I ignored him and resumed my investigation where I'd left off. Your circadian rhythm is affected by the sun. Now I remembered. I jumped out the window because this was already a dead end. That was what detectives did when a line of questioning wasn't going their way. I decided to try something different. 19th Psalm to Jesus Otaku. I didn't remember that one, and I didn't know what that word was. My curiosity was piqued. I had to write a psalm about my anime girlfriend. I didn't know what an anime was. Was it a European dame? Eh, you're not too far off. You want me to explain it to you? I didn't want him to explain it to me. I don't want you to explain it to me, I said. Have it your way, I said. That one was me. 
logic. Uh, it's probably really confusing because we sound kind of similar. I hadn't noticed. Yeah, you don't notice much, do you? I wasn't sure if that was an insult or a compliment on my sharply focused mind and ability to filter out irrelevant details. It was an insult. Hey, not cool, dick licker, Fernandez said. Whoa, whoa, cool it, dude. I'm pretty sure dick lickers hate speech now. Uh, I apologize. That was totally inappropriate. They were talking like a couple of fairies. I didn't understand a word of it. I broke up with fictional woman and I've dated superheroines. Why would you ever need to break up with a fictional woman? Because even an imaginary dame would always stab you in the back. I'd learned that the hard way. When I imaginary divorced Marilyn Monroe in 1996, she hired the best imaginary lawyers, took my imaginary mansion and our imaginary roller coaster, left me with nothing but an imaginary broken heart and an imaginary PI license. I was a loser in school but now a winner of my love. Some people said winning your own love is easy. Those people must not have been hard-boiled detectives. They were medium-boiled at best. Why would someone boil a detective? The Lord moves in mysterious ways, and his blessings for me are unique. No, having a fantasy girlfriend is not that unique, dude. Or a blessing for that matter. I'm pretty sure anyone can do it if they want to. Instead of creating my Eve from the rib, she is wonderfully created for my very own heart. Okay, image search says the first one there is Orihime Inoue from Bleach. Wikipedia says she was created by Titty Kubo. And I'm pretty sure the second picture is of the same character with her anime boyfriend that you're cucking. My point being, I don't think she was created from your heart. I think she was created from Titty Kubo's heart. I didn't know what an image search was. I might have been showing that picture around for days, asking everyone I met. All right, maybe this guy had some detective skills after all. Terrible with names, though. I am excited when I see her executing justice on screen of my vision. I got excited when some tall, mysterious broad walked into my office in a tight dress and pulled out a long cigarette. Watching that on a television set just wouldn't do it. It made her look tiny and black and white like a panda shrunk in the wash. To each his own, I supposed. Her image is artistic. All colors bow to her beauty. I'd never seen a colored bow. That was the Japs. Jesus, man, you know it's not really 1940 or whatever, right? This dumb mug didn't even know what year it was. It's 2020! He didn't even have the right century. Are you just playing around or are you serious with this? I was always serious. Brooding, dramatic, shrouded in shadow. Boiled as hard as a detective could get through boiling. You need help, dude. I had help. I had Fernandez. And I didn't even need him. Those big eyes reflect the perfect life. Are you telling me there's a correlation between eye size and quality of life? And if so, like, I'm no expert on anime, but aren't anime girls always getting into fights with people and getting sexually assaulted by, like, tentacle monsters? I guess that could be some people's version of a perfect life, but I don't know. Plus, they can't even find contact lenses that fit. Uh, hey McPherson P.I., why are we debunking anime girlfriends? Because it's less boring than the sun god, I said. Oh, that yeah, makes sense. In a twinkling of an eye, I will be part of her world. Are you sure this is less boring, McPherson P.I.? Is there a point to this? Some kind of argument? You know, God proves the anime world is real, that kind of thing? <sighs> the typical narrow mind of a regular citizen. A P.I. wasn't just concerned with arguments. He was concerned with the truth. And this line of questioning was paying out a truth jackpot. True or not, I really don't care if some guy likes anime waifus. I dream of defeating evils, and I desire to go on quests to save the world. The world doesn't really need you to save it. And frankly, saving the world's kind of overrated anyway. Like, not every story needs to have the biggest possible stakes. It's kind of become a boring cliche at this point. But I'm sure you could find a few individual people out there who could use some of your help. You can even wear a silly anime costume while you do it. I'm game to whatever story that my beloved star is in. And what if her story's working 9 to 5 at the grocery store to pay rent? See, romance is easy when the story is her flipping around half naked battling superhuman baddies while she giggles and jiggles her boobs all over the place. But the real test of a relationship is what you do when it's boring. No longer will I take a back seat to my destiny. That was good. Real good. I wrote it down, planning to use it later. This earth is a record of our union and also might. He was bumping his gums about something, but I couldn't tell what. It sounded like he and his chick had a roll in the hay and a few months later out popped a whole planet. It didn't make a lot of sense to me, and that meant it didn't matter. I needed him to get to the point. I need you to get to the point, I said. I am partnered with a detective from China. My ears perked up at that. Was his Chinese detective partner investigating me while I investigated him? He was a clever one. Oh well, I thought. Oh well, 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 I thought. He'll find his dirt. All the dirt he could ever want on me. My office didn't have a shower. But he'll have a real time finding someone who cares. Enough with the tough guy act, I said. 
and my wife is an intergalactic bounty hunter for the greater good. He kept trying to bluff me. I didn't buy it. Interstate? Sure. Interplanetary? Maybe. Intergalactic, though? Please. Even so, in my line of work you make enemies. I had so many bounties on my head my hat barely fit anymore. I might have been worried if it wasn't for my trusty Roscoe. My inner soldier is paired with the girl from my teenage years. What? I am one with the storm and burning love for my phoenix. I'm serious, you're really starting to lose me here. My god turned my dreams into reality for his divine purposes. Meaning the anime girlfriend? God turned your dream of an anime girlfriend real? Um. At last I am the prince of heroes. Nothing can stop me now. Oh, I don't think you need to be stopped. I'm not sure it's entirely healthy, but I guess that's not my problem. I turned away from Logic and Fernandez to hastily wipe a single tear from my eye. Something about those last few lines pulled on a heartstring I thought would never move again. My hard-boiled yolk turned soft and dripped out. Excuse me? I said, and took a few minutes alone to clean up. So we're done with the anime girlfriend thing now, right? I wished he was wrong, but it was true. It was over. All over. So can I pick the next one? It doesn't matter to me, I said. Nothing matters anymore. Great, well, let's get away from the anime girlfriends and talk about, uh, powers from God. I was supposed to talk about my Goku form or star way before when I was doing the star maps, but I will talk about this in this video. But before I start, I want to get this out of the way. I know I might lose subscribers because of jealousy. I was already pretty jealous of your smoking hot girlfriend. If you also turn into Goku, I'm not sure I can take it. I felt like I was becoming less and less relevant to this video. I interjected, angrily. Stop talking about things I don't understand. I want to play too, I said. Sorry dude, you said I could pick and I picked. I grumbled and crossed my arms. Fernandez fell on the sidewalk and I picked him up. But this is the truth that God tells me over and over again almost every day. I am Archangel Uriel. Art, is, am, is this like an RP thing, or are you serious? I was starting to think this mug had gone totally cuckoo. Fernandez looked like he agreed. I am Enoch. I am Joseph. And I am King David. There he is. I was wondering when King David was going to make an appearance. King David looked like an underfed prepubescent girl with poor hygiene. I was surprised. What with all the conquering, I expected more of a tough guy. It's the truth. If you don't want to accept that, take it up to God. Oh, I am God, actually. If you don't want to accept that, take it up with Super God. Which was me. Super God. Private investigator. My powers were God powers times infinity times two. If this boob didn't want to accept that, he could take it up with Ultra Mecha God. I'm Ultra Mecha God, Fernandez said. I'm the final form, and I take 26 hours to beat. If this dingleberry doesn't want to accept that, he can take it up with plain old vanilla God, which is logic. It was true. I gave that statement my divine seal of approval, God said, proving it completely. These are the truths that Jesus and God told me before and tell me repeatedly. Wow, those are some big truths. You'd think with creds like those, you wouldn't have to date anime chicks. Sometimes the Lord will use the same spirit to carry out his will on the earth. Just like John the Baptist was Elijah. The Lord allowed my spirit to look like the heroes of my heart, and my Archangel Uriel form looks exactly like Goku. No, really, I really want to know if this is a roleplay thing or not, because if it's not, it was funny at first, but I'm honestly getting a little worried for you at this point. This was the greatest day of my life when I saw what the Lord has revealed to me. When I first received my glorified body, I felt the spirit of Goku, and I look exactly like him. I couldn't help but let out a chuckle at the drawings he showed. Ha ha, I said. The man had a tiny ugly face and hair like a porcupine. I cried the moment the Lord revealed this secret. Okay, but do you actually look like Goku though? Like in real life? Or can you transform into him or something? Or is it more like God just kind of let you imagine that you look like him and it isn't actually real at all? Because if it's the last one, it's not very impressive. This was the greatest, it was actually at night, it was the greatest moment in my life. Maybe it was just a leftover effect of the poem, but I wanted to give this poor guy a hug. I wished he were here with us in person, instead of just on the mysterious television playing in my mind. 
I had seen my spirit look like all the transformations of Goku because I asked God for it. The Super Saiyan 4 form represent my cherub formation. My head was spinning. I didn't understand most of the words being said. It made me feel inadequate as a private investigator. It shouldn't have been so easy to throw me off the trail. I imagined myself as a giant beefcake with a tiny head to feel better about myself. It helped. Damn, man, have you been working out in the last 12 seconds? You look good. I wiped away a single beefy tear. It was the greatest moment of my life. My Enoch chair form will look like a lion because Enoch was a scribe of righteousness and the righteous are bold as a lion as it is written. I'm pretty sure if I say my Super Saiyan form will look like the most awesomestest dragon ever, I'll still just be a fat schlub with pantyhose for a face. I really do not understand the point of this. My Joseph cherub form looks like a phoenix, I saw that, because Joseph's parents, they thought he died, but he was alive in God to be a hero of Egypt. Okay, but just because someone thought you died, that doesn't really make you analogous to a phoenix, does it? You didn't die and come back, you just kept right on doing your thing the whole time. Goku obtained the God powers as, as a flame that burns within. Your your name means flame of God or fire of God. No one can shoot key or make key balls, but I generated the Kamehameha in real life. Fernandez was suddenly a super hot chick with giant titties and far too small a shirt. She snuggled up to my unbelievably muscular body and whispered, Let's go fight a wizard angel robot from space. <laughs> I got rock hard. But then again, with muscles as dense as mine, I was always rock hard. A tentacle monster tried to sneak attack from behind, but I swiveled my cyborg head 540 degrees and shot it with my eye lasers. It was super effective. While the beast took its turn, I listened to what else weak, pathetic little Goku had to say. While both in the spirit and in the physical. While, while I was doing it, I was in the spirit, but at the same time, I was aware of what I was doing in the physical. I was generating the Kamehameha wave and my spirit was doing it and in my mind I'm like I feel sorry for this city this whole block <laughs> no this whole area is just going to be gone after I unleashed after I unleashed this Kamehameha wave as if I would let that happen I the protector of the city would defeat the Goku easily <laughs> but the lord stopped me it was like I was like, ka, nay, ha, nay. And I was like, it's over. In my mind, it was like, it's over. This whole city is going to be, it's going to blow up. But then God just stopped, you know. I knew. I had defeated the menace without even trying. My power was so much greater than his, it wasn't even close. It was his times over 9,000 billion. I was the most muscliest, super powerfulest private detectivist in the history of anything. I suddenly realized it was my turn again. The tentacle monster hadn't even managed to hit me. I pulled an asteroid down from space with my telekinetic powers and took off its remaining three health points. Fernandez told me I was super cool and way more powerful than Goku and God put together times ten. She was right, and super hot. But that meant I had nothing left to do on this planet. There was no enemy I could not defeat. No longer will I take a back seat to my destiny! I howled, reading from my notepad, and flew at light speed times a million to the moon, the home of greater foes more worthy of my skills. <laughs> Fernandez looked sheepishly at Logic, and awkwardly climbed back through the window to grab a donut. She got stuck because her boobs were so huge and awesome. Uh, guys, I was actually kind of enjoying that one. That was kind of funny and, like, fun. Can we continue that later? There was a long, awkward pause.